This is where English speakers often fool themselves when they try to learn Latin, at least at the beginning. You think that you can simply ask what is this for Latin and what is that for Latin and then put those words together and make a sentence? Wrong! It is extremely important in Latvian to know how words change endings or you can get into really embarrassing situations. Hi, my name is Ilze B and I teach Latvian to English speakers and I'll demonstrate how it can go wrong and how you can get in an embarrassing situation if you don't know how to change endings. I'll tell you a little story about myself. I used to have a dog who was very dear to me and people knew how much I loved my dog and probably there were people who talked about me and my dog and imagine if somebody told somebody else about me and my dog and if that other person asked so what does she have a dog or a bitch and the answer would be she has a bitch at that time now let's imagine that we wanted to translate this simple sentence into latvian she has a bitch and let's try to do it word by word I'll use Google Translator to demonstrate it. So let's type in the word she. She and the translation is Vinya. If you have watched my videos, you might have heard this word already. Now let's type in the word has. And we get ir. Now let's type the word bitch. And we get the word kutse. Now let's put all these three words together. Vinya, ir, kutse. Now I'll copy this sentence and paste it in Google Translator with reversed language combination. And what do we get? She is a bitch. See? How embarrassing! Now, how do we actually say this phrase or this sentence in Latvian? Let's take the sentence, the whole sentence, she has a bitch, and put it in Google Translator. And we get the sentence, Viņai ir kutse. Do you see the difference? There is one tiny difference that changes everything. There is a change in the ending of the word vinya. In the first case we had it vinya and in the sentence that we needed to have we have I. It is a diphthong I and we say vinyai ir kutse. You really cannot learn Latvian properly without learning about the changes in endings of words. That's extremely important. And I think that it is better that you don't hide this fact from yourself, but you actually become aware of how much you have to learn, how many words or endings there are that you need to memorize, and then you manage your time and you schedule how you are going to learn because it is doable. So why don't I tell you what there is to learn? All words together in Latvian can be divided into two big groups. The words that have everything to do with nouns, nouns themselves, and then words that describe nouns, and words that replace nouns. And the other group would be words that have everything to do with verbs. And when I teach Latvian, I start with the first group, everything that has to do with nouns. And you know what? You don't need to know everything about the verbs at the beginning. You can get along just if you know some forms of verbs, not everything. But it is not so with nouns. And I'll explain what I teach about nouns. In fact, I have just reopened my course that has everything to do with nouns. So first of all, nouns have two numbers, just like in English. In English, we also have singular and plural. 
And that's the same in Latvian, singular and plural. So there would be two possible endings of nouns if there was just a singular form and a plural form. But nouns also have genders. In Latvian there are no neutral genders. Nouns are either of feminine gender or of masculine gender. So that would be four possible forms if there was just that. Masculine singular and masculine plural. Feminine singular and feminine plural. But that's not all. Nouns are grouped in declensions. Declensions are groups of nouns. And nouns are grouped in declensions according to their default endings. And you have heard about declensions from me if you have watched my videos. And altogether, there are six declensions. Three declensions for masculine nouns and three declensions for feminine noun. So, if we multiply four by six, we get 24. So, there would be already 24 endings to remember. But that's not all. There are also cases. Nouns can acquire cases or get into cases. And what is a case? Well, a case is like a role that a noun can play in a sentence. For instance, I have mentioned that I have two sons, Mikus and Philips. And if I name them, I say, this is my son, Mikus or this is my son, Philips, then I am using the nominative form of their names. I am nominating them. But now, if I wanted to call one of them so that they hear me, I would say, Miku, or I would call Philip, and that is called the vocative case. And in that case, the names of these two men would drop endings. We don't say Mikus, we say Miku, and we say Philip without an S at the end. That is the vocative case. So there are seven cases, and if we multiply 24, that was the number that we acquired before, by seven we get 168 endings. That's what we need to memorize about nouns. I teach this course the way I would like to be taught. I would like somebody to teach me a language the, the way I teach. And I am quite demanding because I have been working with languages and teaching languages basically all my adult life. So I know what I want and I give all that I can. And if you have been thinking about learning with me for some time, I think this is the best time. Jump right in in my course. Push the button down and learn more about my course. If you press that button, it will bring you to my website, to the page where I explain more about my course. And it will be also a sales page. And if after you listen to what I have to say about the course, you decide that you want to buy it, you will be able to do it there. Right now, I have packaged the course so that I have also added a lot of bonuses and add-ons because I am thinking about creating the next level course. And right now those add-ons are my preparations for that next level course. And if you buy the course now, you will get them all for free. So that's my big announcement for today. Push the button now and let's do it. Let's do it together. I'll get you through it.